Hey guys, what's up? So I'm currently getting dressed because I have a meeting. I did cheat a little bit. I did, I put on my clothes and then I put on my jewelry and my lashes and my eyebrows because that takes me the longest. I'm drinking some coffee. Mm, I have a meeting in like an hour. It's not going to take me an hour to get ready, but I wanted to like talk through with you guys what I'm doing. This is my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. I still wanted to get ready with you because I'm continuing my retrying foundation series. I have the shade Camel and the shade Khaki. I love these. These are great for days where you want a no makeup makeup look. Um, and especially when I'm doing like Zoom meetings and stuff like that, I don't really need a ton of coverage. So Camel is one shade too light, which I will show you. That's Camel, which originally I was using, and then Merit reached out to send me a few things, and I got to pick Khaki, which is so great. See, as you guys can see, that's the color difference. So Camel and Khaki, which Khaki is more like on brand with my overall skin tone. I can still use this, but I'll probably just use this to like brighten. I actually like to just go in with my fingers, and what I normally do is we're going to start with Khaki. And we're going to spot conceal a little acne scar right here. Pretty much I get them around my cheeks. So I'm going to cover up that redness. Already looks so much better. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of dots all over my face now. And I just go in with my fingertips because I find that this best applies and blends out with your fingertips it's supposed to be a very like minimalistic product back when i had to like go into the office this was one of my favorite things because it is so easy to use like you don't have to be a makeup artist you don't even have to be somebody who like knows a lot about makeup because this is so like i guess like dummy proof that anybody could do this. Some no makeup makeup products can be a little hard to use. You have to like prep your skin the right way. You have to like do all these steps to make sure that it looks good. This is something that like is so easy that I never have to like really be worried about oh my god I need to make sure I'm having a good skin day. I need to make sure my acne marks aren't super dried up or else it's gonna look crusty. So as you guys can see that pretty much canceled out a bunch of redness which is mainly on days when I'm using this is what I'm trying to do. Trying to cancel out any like big problem areas. I'm not trying to look like perfect or anything like that. I'm mostly just trying to look more presentable and I feel like this is the type of product that is for people who you know are probably like in a rush or they just simply don't like to spend a lot of time on their makeup my elf brush and i'm just going to use this to help kind of spread what i just put on more evenly around my face it just melts which is why it is just so easy to work with and i prefer to kind of go in with a brush during this step because i know that i'm covering a larger surface area and that I'm kind of just making sure that there's product on every part of my face. With Camel, I'm going to just, you know, go under the eyes like I normally would. I'm going to kind of do one of those. And basically anywhere that I would like to highlight. This is technically marketed as a multi-use product it's like meant to replace your concealer and foundation without actually marketing itself as a concealer or foundation which i know you're like how does that even like how does that work well i can totally say that i use this as both a lot of the times blends out really great and for a stick like are you kidding me i feel like usually sticks are so dry and i didn't go on the lid because i'm not doing shadow today that is it for complexion you guys like wasn't that just stupidly easy so 
I love this. I already know that I love this. I just haven't reached for it since I was reaching for it all the time back in the spring. So I wanted to kind of add this to my retrying foundation video. I have an entire merit dedicated video um, because I love this brand so much. It is definitely for like the natural girls, but the natural girls who wear makeup, <laughs> like it's not it's not glossy a vibe. Like you can definitely see this on the skin, and it'll definitely be doing something. It's not like a product you put on for no reason, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. And I'm going to set my entire face right now. I mean, I would like this setup if my background wasn't so chaotic. Because sitting at a desk is just so much easier. So honestly, on days when I'm like in a rush, I could quite literally... First of all, I probably wouldn't put on lashes. But I could quite literally just use that complexion stick all over. And that's it. Like, yes, I would prefer to go in with blush and bronzer and this and that, but obviously I don't do that every day because I don't have time. Okay, there's a ton of hair on that brush. Today for blush, we're going to use my Laura Mercier Peach Shimmer. So I used this for the first time the other day. It is very subtle on my skin tone. Something you use when you want to be undetected. Like, you don't want people to know that you're wearing blush. It definitely gives you a shimmer, which it get, has like a gold reflect to it, which is really nice. But again, it's not going to give you, if you're my skin tone, it's not going to give you a lot of color. But it will give you enough color. I know this is very confusing. It definitely will give you some color. It's just extremely subtle. And as you guys can see, you can see the subtle glow. Is it a lot of glow? No. So it's perfect for every day. This is the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And it'll really go nice with this like peachy blush that we have on. That you can't really see because it's very subtle. And I actually just focused this on my high points. Like right up here. It's not bad by any means. It definitely works. And it works if you're looking for that natural, like, glowing from within look. I just wasn't super impressed with this. And that's what stopped me from getting the Pink Gasm, which is, like, the super popular one that everyone has. Because I just wasn't blown away. I'm gonna use my KKW liner, which this was my favorite. And now KKW doesn't exist, I don't think. This is the shade Nude 0.5. It's definitely busted, but it's so pretty. And on days like today, where I have a work meeting and stuff like that, I can't really like touch up, you know, and people are going to be looking at me. So I need to make sure that I'm on top of it. 9.04. So we finished a lot sooner than I thought we were going to, but this is my little look. Uh, my little natural everyday girl look so i hope that you guys enjoyed this section i will check in so i can really show you how everything is holding up but i do have my meeting to go to so i'll see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, what's up? I'm finally checking in. I tried to do little clips of me throughout the day, but it's currently 328. Feels a lot later. Um, but I've just been working and honestly I've been moving around my entire house. Like I sat here for a little bit and then I moved to my kitchen area. I sat there for a little bit, then I moved to my other front area, like the formal living room, sat there for a little bit, and now we're back. <laughs> So this is pretty much what I do with my life when I'm working from home. I feel like I just end up moving constantly because I get bored of sitting in one area or like I get tired sitting in one area. So I just always end up moving. But anyways, let's check in. I feel greasy, but I will say let's just recall what we did this morning. So a lot of that has to do, I feel like this blush specifically because it has that um like sheen to it it has that luminosity that's kind of where a lot of that glowiness is coming from but in the center of my face I am getting you know quite dewy and then obviously like right here is like a major source of dewiness for me 
everything else is looking very normal. I will say though, this looks like, honestly, it just looks very natural. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything on the skin. It doesn't really look like a foundation if you were to just like look at me. But I think if you're somebody who enjoys this kind of makeup, who enjoys this like natural, pretty, very lightweight makeup look, you would really enjoy this product. So it's currently 5 o'clock. I wanted to check in for the final time today. So what I'm noticing is that it is, you know, it looks very good, although it is dewy. But I will say it's definitely oily. Like there's no denying it. You can definitely see that in the center of my face. Um, and I really think that everything else held up so well. I'm actually really surprised that the blush is still prevalent. It's looking like extra dewy today. But I will say on a regular day when I use this, I normally go in with primer. Sometimes I'll go in with a mattifying setting spray and I usually blot. But obviously because we are, you know, doing this foundation retrying series, I don't use primers. I don't blot my face. I just try to show you the product as is. And overall, I am very happy with it. But I will say it's definitely not my favorite. If you guys don't know, I am currently ranking these behind the scenes. And at the end of this series, we will go ahead and wrap up my final thoughts. I might do a halfway point where we talk about the ones we've tried so far and I rank them for you because I feel like if I had to rank all my foundations, it would be ridiculously like exhausting. I think it's great for those of you who like natural everyday products, who want to look like yourself, but a little bit better. Um, definitely not for the full coverage girlies for sure, but really good for those of you that like natural, lightweight, luminous kind of products. You know, this obviously isn't going to give you like a mattifying finish. It's very much so a natural skin-like finish and then when that wears down, it turns into this more luminous, um, kind of like dewy situation. But I will say it's one of my favorite brands it's one of my favorites it's just not my overall like top three product which if you would have told me this back in the spring i would have been ridiculously confused because i used it all the time back then which i will say in spring my skin was drier maybe i loved it so much in the spring because my skin was drier so i mean if you have dry skin i'm curious to know your thoughts if you tried this and loved it but I do think if you have oily skin or combo skin, I mean, it's going to be 50-50. You might love it or you might hate it. So, I mean, I would recommend giving it a go. It's one of my favorites. I love the shade range. I love the formulation. But I know it's not for everybody. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 1K this year. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.